Hey guys, it's Uber, and today we're just gonna go over the Cabot and the Dangerously Adorable Cabot, which are rewards from the Void Takeover, the Artist Junior, whatever that monster was called. So these are the rewards. One of them is from the Hard, obviously the Dangerous one was from the Hard Shop, and the regular one is from the regular battle, so we're going to take a look at what they do. It's like three shots of rainbows and if they're not aligned to light, they take, well, they have a chance to become stunned. Unfortunately, this one is aligned to light. And the chance of, well, it's stun, it's daze. And the higher their resistance to light is, the higher the chance of them not acting for a turn is as well. So. Let's take out the dangerous one and see how it does. So off the bat you can clearly see that it actually hits higher than the regular Cabot, but we're going to fight some real monsters now to actually test it and see how battles affect it. Right here we're at the Paxian quest and this is the dangerous one. I didn't doesn't yeah it doesn't happen 100% of the time as you can see but hopefully we can get some hits off I mean I don't think it's that great of a pet but this video is to show you if you should if you only like to get items then you definitely shouldn't do the void challenge it's just gonna be a Waste of your time, and there you go. 26% chance to not act. And it is helpful, kind of. Now let's put on the Cabot and see what this does. And we see it does do less damage, but it actually makes your chance of stun a lot higher on your enemy. It's 39% as opposed to your 26% from the Dangerously Adorable Cabot. So if you want to get better chances of dazing your opponent, I definitely recommend you get the normal Cabot. But if you want damage, which I would recommend, get the dangerous one. But in all, I wouldn't recommend any of these because they suck. Oh well, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, and peace!